Welcome back to the final part of the YT-1300. Today we will be gluing it back together and putting on the final touches. After one last test fit, I will use some glue on a few pegs and a few seams, and then use clamps to hold everything tightly together to make sure that everything dries as tightly as possible. And with all of the clamps in place, it is time to let the model dry. But before we do that, we will want to test everything to make sure that everything still works. Using a magnet, I am double checking that all of the lights are still coming on. I will then also use a circuit to make sure that the recharge ports are still working. Next up, we need to add the docking doors onto the side of the ship. We will be using magnets and metal plates to hold them in place so they can easily be removed for access to the recharge port. Per usual, first thing we'll do is to test fit everything to make sure it works and fits properly. We will be using a metal plate on the Falcon itself and a magnet on the docking doors. The magnet will go on the lower half of the surface area to allow access still to the top half for the recharge port. And the magnet will go inside the door. With it, just a little bit of glue, we will then use a little sheet of uh, steel to create a surface for the magnet to be attracted to. Next, we will use some green stuff to put the magnet flush to the edge of the docking door. Once that's in place, we will test it in the ship to make sure everything looks right. With both sides done, it's time to move on to the recharge cable. This specific design will require a unique recharge because the magnet needs to be able to come out with the cable instead of holding inside with the ship. So I've already created one. As you can see, it plops in right there and works just fine. But because of that read write, we need to make sure the magnet comes out with it. In order to build this, we'll be using two magnets, some aluminum tape, and some green stuff, a strip of wire, and then a connector for a mini lipo recharge portion port. In order, the order of operations is to wrap the magnets around with the tape and then use green stuff to hold it all together. I will use a pair of scissors here with the aluminum tape to create about an eighth of an inch of a cut that we will use to wrap around the magnets. It is important to keep this as narrow as possible to minimize the intrusion of the, on the magnets. With that piece of tape in hand, we will wrap them around the two magnets that we have. Once we have it on one surface, we will then wrap the wire over it and then wrap the aluminum tape around the entire magnets again and wrap the wires back over top a second time. At the end of all of this, we can trim off any excess wire that you may have and then bend the wire itself to be at 90 degrees from its current location. This will make a strong area then to put the green stuff onto. Now we'll just use a small dab of green stuff in order to keep the tape from unraveling as you pull the cable out. We will just wrap it around the wire itself and push it down onto the top magnet. We do not want to get it onto the sides of the magnets. Finally, with the wires created for the ship itself, it's time to connect them up to our charger to recharge the ship. I will be using a drone recharge port, which uses a mini micro lipo connector to recharge it. I'll be using an adapter here and we'll just cut off the red half of it because all I want is the white half that goes into the recharge port itself. I will solder my wires onto it. And here is the final product of the recharge wires. 
finally, a test of the recharge system proving everything out. Thank you for joining me as I tore apart and installed LEDs in my YT1300. Please let me know if you would have any specific requests for next time.